Darren, obviously we've had the disappointment of the postponement the other day. Obviously, a positive. It's given you a few extra days to prepare for this one. How has how has preparations been going into tomorrow night's game? Yeah, I mean, I don't know that it's a positive that we've had an extra few days. I, I understand what you what you're saying, but the the boys are chomping at the bit to get back on the pitch. Like you know, um, it's been very interrupted, hasn't it? This yeah. since we've turned the year, to be honest. Um, and especially after a, a decent enough performance at, at Solihull, but not the result we wanted, the lads want to get back on the grass and, and, and put that right again. So um, although it's given us an extra couple of days to prepare, um, I, you know, the work we've done and, and, and rest as well, you know, that's important at this stage of the season for, for one or two of them. It's frustrating that we have to keep sort of preparing and then getting set back and preparing and getting set back. So, you know, but can't control the weather and obviously our our pitch is not is not coping particularly well at the minute with the with the weather that we're having. Just looking at the last time we faced them in the league, bit of a slow start on that day. Looking at that game, is that motivation enough to go out and get a result tomorrow? No, I'm not. A, I'm not a revenge type person. You know what happened that day was. Um, we did start slow we didn't start particularly well but very nearly clawed our way back to a draw but we wasn't we wasn't worthy of anything on the day so that doesn't motivate me personally anymore it's we lost three points that day and as frustrating as it was you know it was a long time ago now um, and what we need to do is be motivated by the fact that we got beat in our last game performance level warranted something out of the game and we have a target in mind for the remaining games that you know there's a certain amount of wins that we believe will help us achieve mm. what we want to achieve and that starts with the game tomorrow night so it's not a it's not a revenge mission it's a it's an opportunity to perform well and potentially take three more points you've mentioned over your last sort of couple of interviews <clears throat> How you've been a bit frustrated with the difference of performance from the first half to the second half. Is that something you'll be looking to change tomorrow? Yeah, we've had conversations about that. We have had conversations. Um, statistically as well, um, it actually backs our argument that we've started slower than we wanted, but finished games strong. But sometimes, as, as everyone's aware, we've started games slowly and then given ourselves mountains to climb. And on the odd occasion, we've clawed, clawed our way back into games. But, you know, it's, it's something we've spoke about and we need to address. We want to start games quicker. Um, we've touched on one or two ideas that can potentially help us start quicker. And it's something we need to, we, we need to improve on, there's no doubt. Because, you know, statistically, again, and, and people can dissect stats as much as they want. Um, but there's some glaringly obvious is in within our stats of the season and, and certainly one positive is we're very strong in the second half of games so what we need to do is, is make that better over over the first half of the game so that we haven't got that mountain to climb Paul McCallum is back available for selection for tomorrow night's game that's a massive boost going into as well He's bursting at the sides, Maka. You know, he's been here for a few weeks and, and played 30 minutes of football. He's been very stop-start for a number of reasons for him. Um, but I like, I like how he trains. I like how he is around the change room. He gets really wound up and frustrated in training because you can see that there's a winner inside him. So I like that. I, I, I do like lots of his attributes, obviously, fancy what he's about on the Saturday but I like his attributes through the week as well um, and he listen without putting any extra pressure on him he's going to be key for us going forward as is Simeon and, and Josh who have got us in this position that gives us this opportunity so you know a lot of credit must go to them as well they've both been terrific considering one's um, quite a young man learning his trade in Josh and, and Simeon, who's not actually a centre forward, but has chipped in with 16 goals this season. So credit to them too for getting us where we are at the moment. And obviously bringing in someone of Paul McCallum's experience and qualities just gives us good options up there. Another impressive forward we have on the books, Efron Mason Clark. You mentioned he had a successful operation on what was a minor injury. How, how's his recovery been since then? 
He was back on the grass today, which is, I always like to see his smile when he walks out on the training pitch. He's a young man who loves his football. Um, and he was beaming from ear to ear that although he was only doing some rehab work, it was obviously nice for him to be back in his kit, back in his boots and back on the grass with the boys. So that's very encouraging. So all being well, his rehab all will have started today and, and, and it will it will put him in good stead and hopefully we get him back around the team within the next 10 days, two weeks maybe.